Ladies, gentlemen, hermaphrodites, my client, Mr. Peter Gurris, has been accused of stealing a shell from a snail. I'm here to convince you that my client is not guilty of any such crime. Thank you, Mr. Krabby. The prosecution's testimony, please. So there I was, taking a nap in my shell. When I woke up, I was outside. Yankees! <gasps> in other words, my shell was gone! Objection! Were there any witnesses who saw my client steal the shell? Yeah, I'm getting to that. I'd like to call my first witness Mr. Clamp. Please tell the court what you saw. The car ran away with the shell. Thank you, Mr. Clamp. No further questions. <clears throat> Mr. Clamp, you yourself have a shell, am I correct? Yeah. Maybe you could tell me, why would this hermit crab want to steal a snail's shell? Objection! The witness couldn't possibly know that. Fair enough. Then I'd like to call Mr. Deep Sea Diver to the stand. <coughs> Mr. Diver, you're an expert on marine biology. Maybe you could tell me why this Guilty. hermit crab would Guilty. take a snail's shell. Guilty. Guilty. Hermit crabs take Guilty. uninhabited shells and use them for shelter. Of course, the snail would have to be dead to leave its shell. That's where its vital organs are. Hmm, no further questions. I'd like to call the plaintiff back to the stand. Oh, crap. Mr. Mucus. It's mollusk! Whatever. You said earlier that you were robbed of your shell when you were sleeping. Is that correct? Uh, yeah? You're lying! If you were the snail who owned that shell, you wouldn't be here testifying. Creatures of the court, the shell never belonged to the plaintiff because... The plaintiff is actually a slug! God damn it, he's right. I rest my case. We'll find the defendant. Uh, not guilty. Not guilty.